thank you for clicking on this video um i'm just going to be cooking some healthy foods and like giving you guys some dinner snack whatever ideas and yeah some recipes will be in the description box so hope you guys enjoy this is a spaghetti squash and i'm just going to cut it in half to prepare for baking it Now that that is finished, I'm just going to empty out the inner little gut part, like from a pumpkin. It's time to put some grapeseed oil and some seasonings on it. I use grapeseed because it is actually has more health benefits than olive oil, but you can use whatever oil that you want to if you try to make this at home. Cooking is um, for about 40 or 45 minutes on 400 degrees Fahrenheit. While that's cooking, I'm going to prepare some boiled carrots. I've never sauteed spinach before this video, and I just finished my workout. That's why I had on that clothing, but it actually wasn't terrible. I don't think I did it correctly, but yeah. Finally, the spaghetti squash is done. So I'm just gonna rake out the little spaghetti strands. This is the finished result with broccoli, spinach, carrots, spaghetti squash, and peas. Now I'm putting some oats in my little blender so I can make some oat flour. start preparing the other ingredients for these healthy peanut butter banana muffins um, I have the recipe linked in the description box at this point you can sub flax eggs or chia eggs they are apparently supposed to work And she used coconut sugar, but I do not like coconut sugar, so I decided to use maple syrup. This is how it's looking so far. It's coming a pretty good way. Definitely gotta scrape all that peanut butter out. Oh, so good. Look at me make a mess over here. I really started to get frustrated at this point, but I just went with the flow and honestly, it worked. This is the end result of the batter, and now it's time to put it in these little muffin cups. The goal is to fill them nearly to the top, and that will come out amazingly.
what is a muffin without chocolate chips? So of course I had to add some of those. I wish I would have put some in the batter though while I was preparing it. Now they are ready to put in the oven and cooking instructions are on the website that I have linked with the recipe. Oh you guys, look at how amazing they turned out. I definitely recommend you trying this recipe for yourself. I added some peanut butter on top of mine to add in some protein and plus it was amazing. Here I am preparing some chicken breast. I'm cutting it because I just a full piece is too big. Now they're all seasoned up and I'm just gonna wrap this aluminum foil around them so they can cook thoroughly when I put them in the oven. And I will just pop them right in the oven for one straight hour. I believe it's on 425. And while the chicken is cooking, I'm gonna prepare some asparagus in the microwave because that is just a quick way to do that. I will microwave them for about four minutes. And now I'm gonna prepare some broccoli that I will also microwave. It is so, so delicious. They will go in the microwave for about three or three and a half minutes. Generally, that would be all that I have, but I had some leftover peas, so I'm gonna put them in the microwave for about one minute because I do not want to waste them. This is this finished meal. It is just the asparagus, broccoli, chicken, and peas, along with a really big amount of ketchup that I will put some pepper on. So you guys have definitely seen me make this before, but I'm preparing my spinach omelet and you cannot forget to add in the egg white after the first egg. Definitely do not forget to spray the pan, but now I'm just going to be cooking it, and I'm still not the best at cooking omelets, but I think I'm slowly getting better. I definitely failed at flipping it the way I wanted, but I just went with it and it worked. I 
I'm actually considering stopping drinking coffee, but this day I decided I would have it. This is my spinach omelet and coffee. Now I'm about to make some of my protein oatmeal. Um, I will have the recipe linked in the description box. Now I'm adding in one egg white for an extra protein boost. And now that it's finished, I'm about to add some toppings, which is the best part of oatmeal. Any of Lily's chocolate chips will work for this. They're absolutely amazing and they have no added sugars. Cashews give it the best texture and a boost in protein and healthy fats. This is the absolute best maple syrup that I have ever tried. And I just like to add a little sweetness to my um, oatmeal. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. I know it was very similar to my last one, but I was told that you guys like seeing me cook. And I didn't want to do another what I eat in a day because it could get frustrating and it wouldn't be accurate because I wouldn't do it all in one day, all that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And yeah, let me know what other kind of videos you want to see. Um, have a good day.